We are on the way. It's a beautiful fucking Sunday morning. Make sure this shit is adjusted. What never adjusted? What are you talking about? What the fuck are you talking about never adjusted? I don't even know what you meant. No one knows. What are you implying you think? That you like monkeys. Who doesn't? They fling shit. That's, that's the shit. Flung. <laughs> It's the way to have shit. Fling you know? shit is Some the people shit. have shit on the floor, some people make shit. You gotta just fling it. I like shit when it catches you by surprise. Wait, like. Uh, you don't expect to see shit in places that you see shit. Okay, I thought you meant like a. Uh, when you think you're gonna fart, when you're sharp. <laughs> so I thought you meant the surprise. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's like when you be eating something and it just, and you're like, oh, <laughs> and you try to like hold it in. But sometimes your bowels are like, nah, I've had too much caffeine. All aboard! And you're like, ah, oh, I think I just shit myself a little. Isn't that just liquid form then? <laughs> All that caffeine runs yeah. right through you. Yeah. Just storms the gates. <laughs> Oh, dude, I saw a midget. When you went to IGA yesterday. Yeah. Uh, sorry, when you went to... Servo. Yeah. And I went to IGA. I saw a midget. I smiled, man. I'm like... Did you go check for his balls? Nah. It was Why a chick. Not? Didn't have any balls. Plus, I just... I didn't want to... I felt like rude. Like, you don't want to make eye contact with a midget. Because it just doesn't feel rude. No. If anything, you treat them different. Unless you don't make eye contact with anyone anyway. I don't I try not to. Oh, well, there you go. Unless they're really hot. <laughs> Would you have fucked that midget, Pete? Not really. That's a maybe. I'm hearing it. Mm. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> not really. fucked that midget. If she was dressed up. She would, like, she went, went to town. And got all dolled up and shit like that. Yeah, and I was drunk. Hell yeah, I'd fuck that midget. I wouldn't be that proud of it the next day, but I'd totally fuck that midget. Why would you be proud of it? It sounds like one of the things you cross your list. It's a good story, list. though, eh? Yeah. It's like, you guys will never believe what I did last night. And we wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no one exactly. ever would. It'd be a myth. No one would ever believe me. I'm like, I legit fucked the midget last night. Put a little foot in my mouth. <laughs> Pull my head in the fuck. She fingered my japs eye. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Well, but, she's got little fingers. Dude, but that's... I <laughs> wouldn't even put a fucking catheter in there, let alone a chick's fucking finger, man. Oh, enough low, Pete. You got anything in there. No, <laughs> oh, man. That's the core of a human being is for the japs eye, man. <laughs> Inside, you see your personality, your manhood and shit. Oh, oh, so what the fuck you doing, your finger? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Just someone reading the newspaper. Look, the fuck's up with that? Yeah, Get out of here. Yeah, like, what? Occupied. <laughs> Sitting on the fucking toilet here. Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, Alright, well, that's what you get, Pete. You should have fucked the midget. Then you would have got a finger in your jab side. And you would have liked it. See? I'm not taking those chances, man. I ain't fucking no midgets. Why not? You don't want to figure in the trap side? I think you're just karma wise, man. Karma wise? Yeah, I don't want to be fucking a little guy. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be fucking a little guy? Yeah, man. <laughs> Why? Man, I've been terrorized the whole life. Which is. I don't know. It's weird. Um. Seems I just got the message. Remember the other week how we ordered Red Rooster? Yeah. We wanted cheesy nuggets, five bucks. Just wouldn't come up. Driving past Reddy's this morning on my way to Grants, there it is. I just got a message from Red Rooster. We have the special five dollar twelve cheesy nuggets going. Oh, five dollar twelve cheesy nuggets. Yeah, man. Man, those fucking niggas, man. Well, imagine nuggets are like the best thing that they have. Well, yeah, it's just the flavouring in it, man. It's the cheese that they put onto it. Cheese does help. Like, no one else does that. We should just order, like, 30 bucks worth of nuggets. Because it, it's not really and that much. Cook you. I think that's two different shops, bro. We can make it work. You're gonna have to try. 
Yeah. What's been happening, Pete? Oh, not much, man. Today I woke up by a little bit that I was going to cut out all the plants, but I ended up playing Haler. So it's like... Yeah. I've... Well, I mean, dude, it's fucking took me three hours from one plant. I still got three more to go. Plus, when they go dry, I got to trim them. Yeah. So it's a, it's a lot of fucking work, man. Oh, well, for you had people to help you and shit. I offered, and you're like, no, people... Oh, well, we can help you today if you're not doing it. <coughs> you want to be trimming? No, not today. Ah, see, that's why. <laughs> yeah. She had asked me earlier today. Oh, I'm just... Or earlier yesterday. I was going to do it at night anyway. No, I'll crank it around 6 to 12. I'll get it all done. Oh, hey, well. I'll, I'll just put se- Sopranos on. I ain't got shit to do tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll wake up. I'll do a little bit of gardening. I have to go to Bunnings, get a jerry can, get some potting mix. I still have to make the garden look nice, man. Because you got inspection coming up. So that's three weeks. You got plenty of time. Yeah, but like you gotta. I'm lazy, man. If I start doing it now, I have to do less later. Instead of doing it all in one go. Yeah, true. And that's in better. Way. The inside will t- won't take that long. Scrub and clean takes a day, but out, the outside is the biggest fucking part, man. So much maintenance. But apart from that, man. Smog a weed every day. Oh, there's nothing better to do. This week is the first time I took a break in a long time. And like, back in Hillary's? Yeah. When I, I took breaks for a while. I took, what was when I was sick on Thursday, man. And smoked all day. And Friday, I finally gave that a joint. And that fucked you up? Yeah. Cause you're like, whoa, man! Like you just let it slide for a few fucking hours, and then your tolerance goes straight down. It's crazy, man. Like, you ever think like if you stop smoking weed for like a week, and then you just had like the biggest, pack the like the biggest like egg cup, like what would it do to you? Uh, I don't think I could smoke that anyway. <laughs> so cup? the fact I'll do it, <laughs> you know, I you... might die. No. <laughs> I reckon you could do an egg cup. Yeah, no, that one's way too big. That was way too wide. Yeah, imagine an egg cup. How much more am I going to put in there? Oh, uh, the egg cup's probably a bit more half it. Smaller than that. Yeah, and I'll easily Much fit, what, two, three times that amount? All right, well, then we'll just do half of that. Do you reckon you could do half of that? Pack? No. You couldn't do it? No. I reckon you could do it. No. The trick would be is just that it wouldn't get blocked. I'll do it on a shisha. Oh yeah, but that'd be easy. Yeah, exactly. If I do it the hard way, I want to enjoy my weed. I don't want to sit there and struggle and be like, I smoked a whole ounce from one go, <laughs> and then I slept for 14 days. No, I want to have a billy to the fuck out. Oh, yeah, man. You know, get up, get a beer and shit. Fuck, just smoking it all. I can go get more. <laughs> I don't have to get more. I go, hi. I don't want to do shit. <laughs> yeah, man. But see, you're logical with it, man. Oh, let's see what's behind door number one. Uh, let's throw a brick at it. Fling some shit. Leave me to it. Play with my dick. Pack my belly. Sticking in my wheelie. Bung on, 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 bung on. So quiet now. Anyway, I need beer. Beer, beer, beer. What was cracking? Don't fucking slap it. That's not real, man. You have a clock for the top? Yeah. That's cool. It's a. It's a. Block. Good block. I'll my regular feet. No, I won't do that. Yeah, nobody cares. Alright.
we can move seats out and around, play some musical chairs if we want. Oh yeah. Nah. Do the good old change places. Nah, nah, Hitler was a young boy. Musical chairs. One Scheiser, you will get in the chair. <laughs> we execute you. It's time for another joint. What's been happening, Graham? Well, I moved another two times. Already? Twice. Yeah. I've lived in seven places in the last Wait, so, Rince, what happened, man? Uh, I got kicked out of the Chinese place uh, near Murdoch. Yeah. And I, I was getting a, I had a job at um, Nando's for about three weeks. I guess I'll do that much. And then I moved, so I moved into this place around the corner from Phoenix Shops. And um, it was kind of fucked up there. Just dickhead miners, and you know, I got shoved around by one of them, and another one left. And he was a drug dealer, like selling crack, and he smashed a whole bunch of shit on the way out. Wait, one of the FIFO guys was a drug dealer? Uh, no. He was a. Um, he was living with a FIFO guys, and one of them who wasn't a FIFO worker was a drug uh, dealer. Yeah, that's yeah. why I'm like, wait, so you had to deal with drugs, and he was FIFO? No. Nah. Like shitloads of money. No, nah, he was a tradie. No, there's no way you can do mm. both. Or a labourer, maybe. I think a labourer, actually. I'd go a labourer. Mm. There was, like, there was one, one guy that was really cool. He was, like, 68 and, like, a German engineer. And he, like, kept flown around the country constantly. Yeah. Paid top dollar just to... Oh, yeah, he was loaded. Push a button. <laughs> oh, no, he was designing stuff and, you know, building it and all that. Uh, it just reminds me of a... He was loaded. He was driving story. a vintage Porsche. Um, no, no, you're right. I should have interrupted. But it just reminds me of a story I heard the other week. There was um, some massive engine from a ship and it just stopped working one day. And they had some engineer come out for it. He looked, looked over the whole engine and he pulls out just a hammer, simple ball pin hammer, and just goes, tap. The engine kicks over. And he charged them $10,000 for it. But like, all he did right. was tap it with the hammer. He's like... $2 for the hammer, 9998 for knowing where to hit it. Because <laughs> <laughs> nice. it's like a half a million dollar engine or something stupid. No, this guy was actually building machinery. Yeah. No, hectic. What type of machines like? On the engines? Oil? Um, had something to do with mining. Okay. Really Digging know. probably. It's probably a drill of some sort. Yeah, uh... The refineries. Oh, you're recording? Yeah. How long have you been recording? <coughs> That's 12 minutes or so. Well, awesome. I originally, I looked at, like I got up at 7, and I found that I, would, I really overshot it. So I got ready and then just sat and played XCOM. Cool. I was watching Rick and Morty beforehand. Pete's just sitting there like, fucking hurry up, Andrew. Like, no, Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty's awesome. Oh, shit, yeah. have you yeah. watched the last season? No. Are you, why? I think I've only seen the first season. Oh, you're missing out, bro. It is It is a wonderful show. It is. It's a good show. It gets even better. Season one was fuck all. Mm-hmm. Season three is going to be top notch. So pumped for it. Yeah, just watching that episode. Oh, I was laughing the whole time, giggling like a school girl. Because, yeah, you just never know what to expect with them. Unbelievable. <laughs> it's pretty funny. The whole spontaneous of that show, man. Well, now I'm living somewhere really cool. Yeah, hey, where are you now? Uh, in Waikiki, living with a girl I went to high school with. Where's Waikiki? Um, just a little bit south of Rockland. Hey, you're just oh, getting okay. further and further away. Well, I'm going to move back up this way. Yeah? Like, what, are you moving again? In June. Oh, wow. I got pla- well, this isn't permanent. It's just right. till June, and then I'm getting a place with me. I think June the last one is going to slowly come down. This cool chick I went to school with. I have two little dogs. She works 9 5. Got this big, beautiful house to myself. Got Sweet. a pool table and everything. Oh, nice. What kind of dog she got? It's a Jack Russell and a Jack Russell Chihuahua Cross. Little, little yuppies. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Yippie lap dogs. Yeah, that's pretty much it. The Jack Russell just wants to constantly play fetch. And the other one. It's kind of cowardly, and, and when you when you sit there for long enough, it'll kind of like creep up to you and 
want to lay on your yeah that's two hours and a half heartbeat man yeah they're they're not bred for socializing they're nah. bred for eating <laughs> they're bred for throwing like kicking like like football i thought they were bred for handbags it's a lot of things just not being a dog. It's actually slightly bigger than him. Jack Ross is coming pretty damn small. I know. Yeah. yeah. Same with Staffy. Not my grand's got a Staffy. And I remember the grandmother of this dog. And yeah, she's a decent sized dog. You get different. But she's just tiny. You get different Staffies though. Yeah. I grew up with an English Staffy that was like pretty medium sized. And now, now my mum has an American staff here. It's pretty big. And it's got a brother that my uncle has. And that's fucking tank. Yeah. It's like fucking... See those staffies that are just like muscle bound. And <laughs> like one of them. Yeah, some staffies would, would fuck you up, man. No, they can't. They're really friendly dogs, though. So it's very rare that you see them. They're... They can't... Like, they'll socialise with... Cheers, Dad. They'll socialise with just about any other dog, but like, but if they see other bitches. staffies. But they, uh, that's they, my biggest worry, if it's female dogs, usually if it's a guy dog, it's so much easier, because they just want to play fetch. Yeah. That's what I've noticed. But if it's a chick, <coughs> they always want to fight someone. <laughs> <coughs> What's all of a sudden you're here, Grant? Hmm? What's all of a sudden you're here, man? Did you see the plants with me? You mean the last time I came in here? Sorry. What? Two or three podcasts ago. The last oh. one, like last time I actually came in was the last podcast. Yeah, you came out like, like that podcast four or something, ages right? ago. Yeah, and I got here at like four in, in the afternoon and it, there was no one here and I just kind of sat out front for a while trying to call you guys and then all that. Oh uh, yeah, I love my phone and shit. Yeah, got to my grands. I was like, oh yeah, just like, time is fuck. Yeah, you lose everything, dude. Especially my phone. At work, comes to try to call me. No, it's not on me. Why not? It's in my bag, or I've left it in my car, or I've dropped it. Soon we're just gonna get chips thrown in the back of our fucking heads, man. And people are just gonna telepathically communicate with us. I can never do that. I do it. I talk sure. to cunts all the time, man. It's been hectic. I can fuck with people all day long. Did you do make that page on Facebook that's got something about a hive mind or something? Yeah, man. Yeah, didn't you just change the name? Yeah. It's my original names page, but I changed it to Hive Mind Telepathy. Oh. Yeah, it's my So page. it's not Not So Brain Dead anymore. Hive Mind Telepathy. Yeah. I still prefer it's Not So Brain Dead, but yeah, things change. Yeah. Mostly yeah, because not so confused. brain dead is a fair bit more casual. No, like because that. of the confused cunt. So like, I thought it was like meant to be Nostradamus or something. I was like, no, it's mm. just a bunch of words, no spaces. So I just started that one. Man, but then it became more of an art blog, so... I got this author on... Oh, check it out, sign. Who? Isabel Carmody, an Australian fantasy writer. Pretty fucking successful one. So that. Oh, there's pictures in the back of it. Oh, there are other books by her. Yeah. What is it about? Uh, well, this is a series of short stories. Uh, I went I went to her and just said, what would you recommend? Like, what's going to really impress me? That's a signature. That's pretty cool. Two Graham. Motherfucking personalised by the author. Yeah. <laughs> it's worthless, then. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, it just means you appreciate the book. You're going to eBay. You, you don't want to sell it. You enjoyed it, right? Oh, I am. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I, I only just started reading it today. I got about twenty-five pages into the first story. There's only six stories in this whole book, so they're not they're not really that short, which is cool. Like, I don't like short stories that are just like you know Five twenty minutes. pages. Or, yeah. Yeah. You can't get invested into the characters or anything like that. Yeah, but this is really fucking good writing, like. It's, it's a real joy to read an author when they're, like, well-worded, like, consistently. And I think maybe that's kind of part of the appeal of short stories, is because, like, you know, they have more to put into, like, a short time frame. She could have written these all years apart. 
Mm. And she kind of had something stewing over and got to the peak of that inspiration, was able to just blast it out like that. Yeah, maybe she had a bunch of ideas beforehand. She just finally worked up to develop them over time. Mm. Well, going on what I've read, I want to read more of herself. Yeah. Uh, like she's got book series, like fantasy series. What's the first story about? So far, it doesn't, like, not much. No. It's just a girl, it's just this little girl has, like... She get fucked in the butt? No. No, nah, man, you can write a better story. Come on, man, she's not creative at all. I don't get anywhere. There could be gangbang, the oh, orgy ninjas, come on. Her. She's not creative. She's she going to hire with a dildo for a fucking leg, right? That'd be fucking hilarious, man. That'd be a good fucking story. Come in there just with fucking cannibals of sperm. Alright, I'll write a book like that. You reckon it'll sell? Yeah. I'll buy one. Cannibals yeah, of sperm. Sure, cannibals of sperm. If Great that title. is the title, I will buy that. Yeah, man, it dude, could be about buy absolutely that. nothing, but just to walk around with cannibals of sperm. Cannibals of sperm. Cannibals of sperm. Yeah, yeah it just has a t shirt, even. <laughs> what up? Can I make it really <laughs> <sick>? <laughs> <laughs> cannibals of sperm. No, have it as a clothing brand. <laughs> Do everything in yeah. cannibals of sperm. What about a band name? Cannibals of sperm. Cannibals of sperm. Cannibals of sperm. And there it is. When I had writer's block. I have a little bit of weed, and I sit and listen to you guys. And all of a sudden, I've got a song. Yeah, man. Can- you got everything. <laughs> Thank, yeah, you got ultimate merchandise right there. You can start a cartoon and shit too. It's hard yeah. to kind of force inspiration, eh? Hey? Yeah. Well, uh, you know, I did write a set of lyrics based around a thing that we were doing on a podcast before where yeah. I was saying, slave to midgets. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 slave to midgets. <laughs> and I like, fleshed it out as a song and that's pretty much like the final line. But it's like, it's more an analogy than an actual... We're yeah. all slave to midgets. We are slave to midgets. <laughs> They've got the us right on our fucking hands, man. Mm. They just... I'll show it to you. I can't recite it, but... Man, midgets are awesome. I was thinking about this the other day, man. Because, mm? uh... I, would, I said this earlier, but... I was at the shops, man. I saw a midget yesterday. And, uh... It just made me realise that there's midgets in the world. <laughs> it's just like, After all this talk of midgets, it's finally here. Because they're real people. You worship them like a like a fucking <coughs> like a like a god or something, man. You just like you think like they're a pony or a unicorn or some shit like that. Oh, unicorns are and ponies are real. What, unicorns what are aren't real. Yes, they are. Unicorns? Yeah, they just got fat. Look at rhinos, bro. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you know, while I was in uni, I randomly went up to the city one night and. Um, got drunk with Aboriginal people yeah. and we walked around like all night and just drunk in parks and shit it was awesome but like uh, a couple of times this same little midget in a suit like really really fucking small like smaller than the average midget like walk, he sure walked by us like a few a times toddler? he's in a suit wearing it like carrying a briefcase and like He's just the dragging thing. the briefcase he's everywhere he's going. Kind of about, about <laughs> yeah. No, he's like, kind of like this. Yeah. But, this, <laughs> um, but yeah, <laughs> each time he walked by, the the Aboriginal people were just like, "Hey, how's it going?" Like they just really want to say hi to him. He's like, "Hi." <laughs> he's like, yeah, I would steal him. You get preferred treatment for being head. like a little man. Yeah. Like just you go by the legs, go by his hands, man. I have on my. I don't know. I reckon they're the same <laughs> category as disabled. They're just above that. Unless they pick a fight with you. Yeah. Handicap, the same thing, really. Yeah. How Make... is, I don't understand how it's a ca- handicap, really. They can't reach the top. Well, they don't have half the fucking <laughs> body mass. That's fucking pretty big handicap. Yeah. Man. I'm not saying I couldn't get my Dude, imagine if your fucking feet were down here. So you need <laughs> yeah. to put a few cushions on your chair when you're sitting at your desk. Like what? You can't reach I'm shit. I'm saying if I was to... You're going to have like I a I wouldn't specific... run and pick up a midget. I'd feel bad. I mean, I'd run and pick Pete up. Maybe... Because at least Pete would have a chance, but a midget, no chance. Maybe the suitcase folded out into like a stepladder. Yeah, then it would kick my ass. Then he has to carry a stepladder around everywhere he but goes. Then he would That's a fucking it. That's why I wouldn't man. do it. Well, it's a really conveniently shaped one, I think. It looks pretty good with the suit. I, I, I think they're custom made. 
They, it's not like you just went into J-Mark for it. Little people are gods. They're gods among us. They're walking around just surveying. Yeah, they're just, just checking people out, man. <laughs> they're just like, no one will fucking suspect them, midget. <laughs> 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 dun, dun, dun. <laughs> That's your shit, guys. <laughs> it's just fucking yeah. Zeus and fucking Floki and they're just chilling in midgets, man. Yeah. Both and all the Egyptian gods, they just even Jesus is a midget. Jesus, Jesus was a no, midget. Jesus Jesus and pretty much all the people in the Bible were midgets. Yeah, man. This is like I saw Jesus again, ago. I'd step on it. <laughs> but yeah, rose from the dead, huh? <laughs> There's a Jim Jeffries bit about um, getting in a fight with, like he he was saying I wouldn't be crucified. Like he was saying I am better than Jesus because like I they couldn't cru- crucify me on this little cross like yeah. this big. Man, what a bitch, man! Jesus <laughs> was, man. He could have just hang- picked up that cross and start <laughs> get the fuck away from me. I charged at them or something. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, the numbers would have been against him. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I mean, you know, an army of. I'm basing this down. off the passion, like. Just yeah, but so what? He fucking re- rose from the dead, apparently. So he's got all these magic tricks. He just go, bam, and then blow up, blow them all up and shit. Ah! What the fuck? He's a witch. Come out, Dragon Ball Z style. <laughs> he's a sorcerer. All Super Saiyan and Maybe shit. Maybe Jesus was a sorcerer. Yeah, a sorcerer of dick, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you saying he's sorcerer? <laughs> yeah. That's why he was sucking dick. That was the only magic power he had. Maybe, maybe Jesus was Merlin reincarnated. And he went, and Merlin goes all through time like this. Oh, would you ever think maybe <laughs> Hitler is Jesus reincarnated? <laughs> <laughs> so, Trump is Jesus? <laughs> Sieg Heil. Huh? Trump's Jesus, then? Nah. You have to be. Trump's Hitler. And Hitler's Jesus. Yeah, my point. That's Trump being Jesus. <laughs> you know there is one thing that Hitler said, right? Hitler said a lot of things, mate. Mostly in German. <sighs> what are you doing? Oh, uh, you're a fish? <laughs> and the weed kicks in. <laughs> <laughs> I used to yeah. hang out with, he was like, of course fish smoke weed. Like, we were stoned, and he just went on for ages about how fish de- definitely smoke weed. And I'm like, we should go to Point Perrin and try to buy a stick from the fish. That's like the easiest way to kill a motherfucker, you just, hey man, just go into the ocean and go ask for some fish for a stick. And then just drive off. Under the sea. And yeah, he just walks to the sea. Hey, Mr. Fishy. <laughs> And the fish is just like, ah, fuck up. <laughs> Swims away with his blunt in your money. Yeah. Ah, that fish. I got enough for another stick. <laughs> Man, you're my fish clients I have. Fish clients. Fish clients, yeah. Well, I reckon you probably have all kinds of animal clients. Yeah. Gorillas buy from me. Yeah. I even get zebras sometimes. Yeah, fucking zebras knock on the door, man. Just fuck it. <laughs> oh, that zebra again. It just ran into the fucking door. Hey, I thought that was your ringtone. No, bro. Mine's even gay right. on that. Dun 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 dun. The Jews are coming, man. No, the chickens are coming. That's not, it's the sound of the Jews, pick your Japsai, brother. Oh, uh, leave my Japsai alone, right? You my Japsai. Oh, stick a stick down it. Oh, I dare you do that again. What? Stab a fucking Japsai. That's just mean, bro. That's what you want to do to me, man. Yeah, so? It's okay. Fuck yourself. Leave my Japsai alone. I'll stab your China hole. My China hole? Yeah. Is that my arrow? No, that's the Jeff side when I make it fucking Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> just side to side. Ah! Why like Kentucky? Oh, we shall say, Pete. Sorry? We shall say. Who the fuck knows, man? I want to get your mate to get your Jap side for me. 
just pay her under the table, be like, hey, get he going, and then put this down as Jap's eye. Here's 50 bucks. You, you know she might be into it. So. Ah. Uh, yeah. I need a belt, though. Like. Oh, I'll give her a belt, don't you worry. <laughs> Snag her up to the wall and shit. At the I need to get like a swing, man. A latex suit. Yeah, don't go to latex. Oh, latex is just for her, not for me. Yeah, Rob is the way to go, bro. I'll get that, man. Ah, door number two. I'm sick of sitting here on my own. I don't know how to entertain a phone. Nigga, I'm here. What are you talking about on your own? When you went to bed? Quentin. Oh, Brad. Oh, yeah. I mean, my mate Quentin, he had an argument with his mum and he was wondering if he could, like, get a room, like, when we move out. Oh, yeah. He's, like, 30 and I don't think he's moved out. No. He's really reclusive, like, gay dude. <laughs> Fair enough, everyone's different. What's cracking? Hey! Oh, fuck, Grant's here before we finish the podcast. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That's a fucking first, man. What's happening, man? Oh, it's not. What's cracking, Grant? <laughs> Long time no see, bro. Um, yeah. When was the last time? Oh, sorry, bro. Me, you got me. Shit. Oh, what was all that crumb, bro? Oh, what's that crumb, bro? What's that crumb, bro? What up? Fuck off. Oh, I'm having any Oh, you have a dance here. So good. Yeah, you can go up. Fuck, right? Hello, Dan. Dan, that's Graham. Daniel, bro. And that's Brad. Oh, Brad, Daniel. How many guys met? I haven't met some of them. Okay. Well, I haven't even started that course yet. No? Yeah, did they bring you back at all? So, we're doing a podcast. We started like half hour. However long we're into See it. how long we've been. I'm good. Uh, it's no. Yeah, I thought I was like hella late. No one really cares. <laughs> As Brad was saying, well, Graham rocked up start. before the podcast ended, so. Yeah, yeah. I'm amazed. That's how we're going to do it from now on. I start and then you guys rock up. And then I, that was only the last one that I missed that way. Yeah, yeah, before that, happens. I think I missed Bro, one because I had man. work. Two more days and it's fucking 4.20 and we can't even do a podcast on it. What are you talking about? Tuesday is 4.20. April 4th. Yesterday was the first. Today is the second. Monday's the third. <laughs> yeah, bro. Two more days and it's 4.20. Oh, it's 4.20 on April 20th. Oh, yeah? <laughs> it's not 24, it's 4.20. Yeah, so why would it be the 4 for the 4? That's like... That's no, it's the 20th of the 4th. Yeah, 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 nigga, it's still ages away. That's like it's because in America, their calendar and dates the opposite to ours. Yeah. They'll put the month first. Oh, yeah, they're smoking. Yeah, they, man, some of them do the year first and then the fucking day and the month. This is like, what the fuck? I barely remember what year it is anyway. I think, what, yesterday was April 1st, right? April 1st. Yeah. Yeah, I went to Pornhub. And <laughs> it fucking, it had Don't this pop more. up. It says, oh, I've got, um, I've got Pornhub now that. automatically updates all your social media accounts <laughs> with your, um, with what you look at on Pornhub. Oh, those fucking trolls. And then <laughs> I crossed out of it and it says, Happy April Fool's Day. <laughs> Motherfuckers. <laughs> Can you imagine that on your face? If everyone's like, Porn feed was on their Facebook. <laughs> you just look at what I've done. I'd be unfriended very quickly. Yeah, me too. Or I'd get some really creepy cunts friending me. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck me, sometimes when I'm stoned, I look up some weird shit just for the sake of it. I've looked up shit because I heard them reference it on TV. I was like, nah. Panda porn. <laughs> Panda porn? Yeah, dudes dressed up as porn hubs going all out, man. They want to help the wildlife <coughs> society. Why, like, fucking. What they've done is they got fucking people to dress up as panda in panda onesies and fuck each other, thinking it's gonna arouse the pandas so they can breed more pandas. Oh, dude, no shit. There are so many videos on there. I We're living in a do- fucking comic book, right? I think they were doing that despite the concern of the pandas. They were just doing that for fun, bro. No, that's why they did it. But they're doing every every what like. Put, uh, Hundred views. Yeah. They're gonna donate yeah, a certain amount of money to the Wildlife Federation. Oh, yeah. Oh, I guess that's. 
They look good. Oh, no. Yeah, but these weird cunts watching fucking people fuck fucking pants. Yeah, like. <laughs> There's like, going to be a lot think? of Asians watching that shit. <laughs> nah, they're still watching the anime. I saw videos of Hentai Arabic men shit. like having sex Tentacles. with donkeys. Yeah. Well, I've come across fucking all types of shit, man. That shouldn't be on fucking porn sites that you can just oh, find. Oh, no, no. I'm talking I about I love the mo- uh, <laughs> recommended thing. I'll just sit there and scroll through that like, oh, that's interesting. Play it a little. Look back on the list. Oh, that's Dude, interesting. Dude, I, I, I don't get how fucking porn hub allows videos of fucking dogs fucking chicks. What? In yeah. certain states, bestiality is allowed, so... As long as but they... Is it, but it's why is that a trend, it's man? Completely illegal. In Australia. <laughs> you know anyway, that's a trend. Uh, US. Do you have any fucking oh, girls about that? Yeah, everywhere by that standard, I guess. Broke. That's hooked up. But one you, of them is like Texas. But do you know how fucking widespread it is? Like, you have any fucking yeah, they, girls out there won't... fucking the dogs? It's so fucked up, man. They get pretty. Have you ever seen one, man? Yeah, I've it's seen one. From what I, I remember having this conversation. Yeah, like, what dogs' dicks are like this? What's it doing for it? It's got barbs in there, bro. So until the dog's done, won't let go. Fuck that shit. Yeah. It's like, it's like I just felt that in my ass. What? <laughs> Damn. What if you were butt naked? Chicks fucking dogs one thing, destroyed. take him in gay like that. <laughs> <laughs> Went there. What about the dog comes to you if you ain't got no hands on? And it fucking... Well, you'd usually push it off I before it lets you stick his dick in you, man. Like, yeah, I'm with Brad. I'm like, I'm naked, go away! Stop looking at me. Jungle looks <laughs> naked, bro. Sometimes when a dog's oh, cold, it's not on. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I'm not. I'm just looking over and I'm like, "Fuck that bitch, fuck face." Oh, bro, I'm naked. I'm telling going. the dog that. Yeah, oh, telling yeah. the dog, "Let me get dressed. <coughs> fuck off." Because oh. you know, sometimes I'd go and pee and I'd follow you. Be like, "Oh, what are you doing?" And they come between your legs. I'm trying to pee. <coughs> oh. They piss on him. Then they know. Can do that to Bodge and Lulu. <coughs> Especially Lulu. <coughs> It'd be funny. Fuck them. What the fuck? <laughs> I just never wanted to take clean up after it. That was my <coughs> biggest thing. Like, I just gotta pee. Fuck off. Wait, Grant, can I pinch your smoke, bro? Yeah, that's cool. Look, fucking home. So, been having a little box, she's fucking pushing her away and doing shit because she's just not learning by telling her anymore. She's a fucking. I moved, eh? You'd be a left fucking night. <laughs> oh, you gotta play. Uh, better place. You need help with. Yeah, me and the missus. Help with. Yeah. Two bedrooms. Said I need a hand on my Facebook. No, do you? You had another place. No worries, you need hand. I need hand. Oh, I'm complaining about it all on Facebook. Oh, the place that we're at now is shit. It's, oh, but it's cheap, so it's right? So I'm not complaining right? about it. Fuel filter took me to Because they went through and they so listed it in the fucking property report. It's got this bulky yeah, amount really what's wrong with the, the side of the motor. Motor. So I'm just like, eh. Above they everything and underneath yeah, everything. Probably, so I've got to like come in like this. You could probably fix it and just give me a receipt. And they're hard lot. One of them's hard line, so you can attach it and then bolt it to the motor. Like, ask Pete about the fucking overhead unit for the stove, man. It's fucking rigged. Even Andrew will tell you. What? The fucking. Um, exhaust fan over my stove at the new place. <laughs> it's all home job, man. It's got a home job pipe and everything going on. It's just an installation pipe, no box around it. Instead well, of having an actual. What's it made out of? Just fucking silver shit, bro. Yeah, just silver piping. That you know, with the wire shit. in it? Sorry? With the wire in it? And it just comes out? Like a slinky. You almost. see in the roofs, like office buildings and shit going between the ducts and stuff. And yeah, that's what I've got for my fucking. Um, Hold on, they probably just bought the fucking hood on, on special yeah, yeah. from Masters and were like, ah, oh, fuck it. All they've done is and made the hole smaller by fucking sticking a board there and cutting a <laughs> hole in it so it can wedge in. I'm just like, fuck, you know. DIY yeah, why but it there? turns out it was Africans there before, yeah. Uh, There's no excuse. Yeah, I mean, there was an there was an African guy. He really smells like shit here there. down in Africa. <laughs> Wait, how funny is that video? <laughs> he left yeah. the niggas dance. <laughs> he left a Quran in there and I started reading it. Oh no. Do you understand it? I tried yeah. reading it once. Confusing. They kept referencing shit. I was like, what the fuck? It's simpler than the Bible. The Bible's fucking piss take. It was like that old English confuses a lot of people. Yeah, the Quran, because the Quran isn't so much passed down, it's been pretty set the whole way through. And the, then it's been translated to the English. The Bible was written before the Quran. But that's my. No, it wasn't. Yeah. The Quran's been around longer. Well, it's been yeah. around pretty much the same, really. I'm pretty sure. It's, it's written by Allah and shit. Yeah, Jesus. Yeah, and then like 600 Allah, years. Allah's gaudy, Kim. It's 500 or 600. No, it's a religious segment of this podcast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, after, <laughs> yeah. it's after the Bible. It's 500 or 600 AD. And, um. 
sort of same concept. Who wrote it? Yeah, no, why was originally the like? The Bible, my, my point is, regardless of when they were made, my, <laughs> uh, the Bible may be older, but it's been gone through English, like four different yeah, types of languages. Story, it's been translated, revised, cut, and revised. It's yeah. not yeah, the yeah, that, Bible but, anymore. Right, the Quran is uh, still I'm the Quran. Second, it's been pretty oh, set for it's most of it, besides. Change of slight changes, but it's not that significant. I guess just the, yeah, reprint to English really is the change. Yeah, yeah exactly. The scholars and shit have to change that, it to make it learn. That's and what makes so many denominations of Christianity like because, exactly. But like, I grew up in a church where it was the King James version. Yeah. Like King James basically went and got people to find the most original yeah. texts and like he put them together and translated them, and that one stayed the same because that was English. You know, but that's why it's old English. And Boy, that down the road pretty much the same for like a lot of them are very similar to King James. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not, I'm not yeah. saying that they're not like significantly different, like, oh, but they do I'm vary, like you say. Too, like, mm. I'm not saying like one says cut people's heads off and the other says love people, or, like in the same passage. I'm not saying that by any means, but. Oh, the Quran says like 29 times to kill everybody. Well, oh, Peter yeah, says like, go fuck yourself. Love everyone. And let's not talk about fucking religion, man. I've had enough of that shit. Besides the Jews. The Bible does tell you to oh, take, shut up. take two turtles to a church if you're on your eggs. What? Yeah. I've never seen that. That's what yeah. I heard. I was like, bullshit. He's like, no. You should have a Bible laying around. I'm sure you got a Bible. Go on. You want to know what? I'm going to have a look at that. See if it's actually in there. Uh, if I can look it up. Does the missus got a Bible? That's ridiculous. Are you seriously going to read through thousands <laughs> of pages to find two turtles? No, I'll just Google it and then find it in the actual Bible. <laughs> exactly. Google the page number. <laughs> there was one that I thought that was hilarious, and I always used to get people to read that page. I actually might get stoned. Was some do kind of, like, father's son joke. Next minute you become really a born-again Christian. How the joke go, go. Hold up. Oh. Wait, wait, we got a joke. Go. No, there's just this verse in the Bible. It just seemed like a kind of joke to me, and I read it out of church a lot because it was fun. I'm not laughing. Oh. <laughs> no, people laughed at it. But what is it? I, I don't remember. Fuck. Uh, something about your father and son and... Yeah, just well. the way it was worded. <laughs> father, son, good luck. This is Hitler in the background all the time, and all their pictures. Hey. Yes. You see that ISIS player I was playing with the other day? I used to play the game in your lobby. Yeah, like, what the fuck, man? How are you in an Aussie server, mate? <laughs> oh, shit. Sure. Sim, sim, Saladin. They yes, are. And then they tried out of me. I was like, fuck off, ISIS. <laughs> play some Saudi. There you go. You want to read it out, Daniel? Oh, I'm going to read it out. I don't give a fuck. Leviticus 15, 29. <laughs> What's this? Well, there's, there's, we'll go the English Standard Version, or we can go New International Version. I'll go the English Standard Version. And on the eighth day, she shall take two turtle doves, or two pigeons, and bring them to the priest. Oh, To doves. the entrance of the tent of meeting. <laughs> yeah, you were the yeah, so doves didn't do with fertility and shit. Yeah, yeah. turtles is funnier. Love it. Yeah, when I heard turtles, I fucking lost my Tur- shit. All turtle doves. They, yeah, that. Do you remember from Home Alone when he got the two turtle doves? Yeah. When you read it. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't. Like, it doesn't necessarily specify the period though. I'm gonna read the whole passage before. Oh, uh, you go before. It's like you're not allowed to wear clothing. No, 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 no. When she cleanses her, just convert. I'll get an English version. But if she is cleansed of her discharge, she shall count for herself seven like days, and after that she shall be cleansed. And just leave them at the church and replace all the fucking yeah, Bibles in the church. I was just told. I was like, oh, that's fucking hilarious. So you, know, you, know, the you know, in Italy, they're passing a law to make it that if um, a woman complains from period pain, she can have three days off paid. Really? Yep. I'd fake it for that. But that's why Italy's economy is in shambles. Well, no, that's, that's not why. It's because of the euro. That's, that's true. <laughs> It really smells like shit down here in Africa. Yeah, we're not doing much better either. That chicken's laying an egg. No, that chicken's getting fucked by a dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Africa! <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, so I was in this chat lobby, just chilling, talking with my mate. This dude comes in. And I, we were talking about Jews and stuff, and he's like, what you got against the Jews? I was just like, are you fucking shitting me, bro? Are you going to defend the Jews right now? <laughs> and he started defending them and shit, and I was like, nah, get the fuck out of my lobby, bro. He's like, nah, there's nothing wrong with the Jews. They didn't do anything wrong. I was like, either did fucking Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, he did. 
He, he never killed anyone, man. It was Harlan that killed everyone. What are you talking about? He killed himself. He just yeah, and, and killed himself no, and fucking right, drove his wives to kill themselves. <laughs> Maybe Hitler was just a puppet. That's why they say in Deutschland, um, if only Hitler knew. If Hitler knew. If only Hitler knew. It's a very common saying amongst old fucking German people. Like old Nazis and shit. If only Hitler knew. Because they refused to believe that he actually had any part in the Holocaust. Okay. He didn't know. He was just the SS and all that. He was just the head of everything. It was just all these underdogs who were like, yeah, let's kill all the Jews. And and yeah. And he... some of them blokes actually lost their children because their children became friends with the Jews, snuck into the concentration camps and got gassed. That was a movie, man. There, it's actually so based speeches. on true shit. There's so many speeches. What movie is that? Um, oh, shit. Boy in striped pajamas. That's it. Is this seriously what that's about? Yeah. yeah. What happens is there's a house near it and where the father I mean, I, 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 works I, I, and shit. I've seen it on Netflix, but I haven't watched it. They literally killed people on the spot, it. man. Yeah. They were, they were fucking... The, like they in the piano, in they picked up that dude in the wheelchair and just threw him off a second story balcony. As far as they're concerned, they're dead anyway. Exactly. Right? You ever seen a na- naked among the wolves? Hmm? Never heard of it, but it's about. Oh, it's a fucking it's a Nazi movie as well. It's just hell realistic. Is this you me? Some like fucking uh, this people is get drowned in toilets shit, and shit because like they it. fucking try and stitch people out. It's fucking pretty hectic. Dude only ran out yesterday. Lasted <laughs> yeah. me that long. They try and store yeah, a little Polish boy. Well. Yeah. Because they believed if they couldn't even do that, their cause, like killing the Germans, was nothing. And for the them. crystals. So the it was just one. Yeah. So they have to. So that was it. They put all their attention to, and people like died and shrunk away. And of course, there you go, bro. Oh yay! (laughs) (coughs) We get some reggae up in this bitch or something, man. Put on bamba clad. We fucked two in the slot. Porter in the belly. Came on her face. Peace, love, and tranquility. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> we love white women. We love them all. We're going to make a bar for this. <laughs> <laughs> so what's everyone been up to, man? What's uh, end of the week? How is Start it? I've following... <coughs> well, no, it's the start of the new week, bro. It's Sunday. It's, it's, yeah, man. I've been following the French election. The French election? Why? <coughs> want Marine Le yeah. Pen to win. I want leaders around all the Western countries to like have politicians from the same ideals all at the same That's time. That's what they're trying to do. Sort out Europe, yeah. fucking get on the world economy. Yeah, what's happening with the EU, shit. man? That's just going to shit at the moment, eh? Another holocaust. Yeah, by the looks of it. No one Russia. wants to be part of the EU anymore. Russia no, because it fucked, up. like, it just benefited, like, the rich people in Germany, essentially. Russia yeah, used to be in poor, they'll be fine. But that's what's happening all over the world. No, they're just, they're just protecting their borders now. Oh, well, well... Rich people are getting in. Yeah. You realise that? Yeah, and that's why I like Trump, because he's so anti-establishment like that. He doesn't want that kind of shit. Such a fucking weed thing. Nah, too racist, too. He's always gonna burn. What? I... There's... Seriously, he's what? These protests too homophobic and too people, people He's not homophobic. He's, yeah, he is. No, he's people not. Yeah, he's he's right. No, he's not. He's not a gay guy on his cabinet, for starters. He's also <laughs> he's also never said anything bigger than... There's all these fucking protesters out in the street all the time saying... The only reason shit. he's racist is because his and, grandfather or some shit started like, up the KKK. And they're like, name one thing that he said, and they're like... He's racist, uh... Like, they don't know. Fuck him, he's friends with Jews. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty bad. The only yeah. good thing I've seen him want to do is kill pedophiles. <laughs> Fair, eh? It's built on a wall. He's a dinosaur. Shit, yeah, what a fucking dick. The Mexicans have tunnels. How do you think they get drugs to America? <laughs> Most of them get over by the... We have anyway. planes now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, fucking dickhead. Yeah, let's build a wall. <coughs> they tunnel, they've been tunneling for years and they've been flying... No, they want to stop the people that become part of the network as well, though. I can understand why they want to do it. The same reason why we want to do it. Why do we want to build a wall? Well, we don't. We want to stop the immigrants from coming in and taking our work. No, what we should really do... There is no... Build a giant laser that cuts... Because they're in here, bro. 36,000 in the last two years. Illegal. We should get everyone that's on the doll... technically, there's no fucking... ...with a shovel and then just dig... They just let them in. And just break off the rest of Australia and become our own fucking thing. Yeah, but they're limited to certain jobs only. These are the ones that walk across the border to the UK, right? We got 36,000 of them. Our government flew them over, bro. So when, why didn't they fucking over the past couple of years, man? Over the boom. 
little Irish English. What do you think oh, the sugar immigrants uh, here? There's no work over in their country, man. We, you you got to go yeah, to get like money. New Zealand, they stop so. a four five seven visa for New Zealand now. Exactly. Because they need the workers over there to rebuild Christchurch. They're asking people to come back as well, aren't you? Yeah. They're offering, the government is actually offering to, to give New Zealanders contracts. I know. He's like proper about. government contracts to do it. That's a really good idea, though. We should do what fuck yeah, they did in the War Dogs movie. No, I have. Have you seen that movie? That's I just got caught with 400 tubs of acid. Oh, he's gone to prison enough. or he's getting deported back to New Zealand. He'll get deported. And Straight so, out. Yeah. That's no, part he came of the 457 he was, visa. He came here when he was a kid. Yeah. He's pretty much a citizen. Dude, but I watched fucking a 36 year old African get deported the other week. 36 year old yeah. African? Why'd you watch him? Well, <laughs> he, he, he was a live court feed. Why would you still watch that? Why not? He got deported. I'm sitting How do you even watch that? It's fucking easy, man. Like, internet or TV? Yeah, the internet, bro. <laughs> Dude, you can go sit in a courtroom. In the court, uh, magistrate's court in the city. You can no, sit car. There. It's, it's too hard. I don't know. Yeah. 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 You can watch murder cases and shit. Yeah, I watched one as a kid, It's open man. to the public. We fucking, as long yeah. as you keep but your mouth shut. Did you knew ever go with Mercy College? No. I went like year eight, man. We went and fucking did it for sign. That's good. I like that about our society. Whatever. No. But yeah, our hell went, man. We went for a full day. We fucking went all over. That was We sat up there and we watched some fucking murder case. I remember hearing about it in Bayswater. Yeah, Why haven't I heard friend. of this beforehand? It's fucked. My mum told the fucking per, the prosecutor that she doesn't believe that he did it. The dude was my fucking sc- the school gardener. And apparently he raped and murdered a 16 year old? Fucking yeah, right. He lived right next to the school with plenty of opportunity. She tripped and fell on her own shears. That was the <laughs> Well, she fucking disappeared, man. She was abducted. Yes, I don't know. 20 years later, they decided to arrest this bloke. 20 years, bro. They decided to arrest this bloke and be like, yeah, you did it. I've got two people on my mind that actually did it. And they still live in the area up there. They go away free. Because my mum and my sister were the last two people to see her. They're going to give fucking witness statement. Yeah, she was getting raped. (laughs) But my sister's finally put put the whole thing behind her. And they fucking send her a letter going, oh, you got to appear in court. I was just like, just go to a psych and say that you're unfit. Go to the doctor and say you're unfit to stand trial. Don't. Don't have to go. Don't have to deal with that. Oh, exactly. Or if you want to be a smart ass, say you got to miss a day of work, so they've got to pay you. <laughs> <coughs> but I still can't believe my mum told the prosecutor she don't believe he did it. I was just like, that can cause a mistrial like that. But that'll be alright, because we don't believe the dude did it. It could have been fucking one of the, the principal for all we know. Because after I left that school, apparently he was touching the fucking girls in my class. <laughs> what school is this? Uh, Bajangara Primary School. Up north. Oh, okay. Just inland from Bremer. Oh, no, from Jury. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to get dusters thrown in my head by the principal's wife, hey. Yeah. Yeah, if I wasn't paying attention, she'd smack you on the back of the head with a ruler. That big fucking one, le- one meter long ruler, just smack, bro. And no one believed us. And then fuck yeah, and one kid actually came home with bruises and shit, and they took it to the school tribunal, eh? Like, fuck. Three weeks it lasted, and he got stood down. It was like fucking hell. And now he's in jail, and his wife ain't... They're both not allowed to ever be registered teachers again. This is like fuck it, eh? Bum bum bum. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to the goals, man. No way. It's my job. Fucking pants. And then you build them. No ability. What phone you got now? CTE, bro. Oh. Oh, it's a man. Dude, for some reason, it's only Venky bags that leak fucking filters everywhere. Oh, I find it with anything with a pop lock that I don't close. <laughs> See, that's why I can hold on for. Let's turn. Ah, uh, every time I tear it, the hole becomes bigger. Well, this has got a pop lock and it just rips off the side. No, oh, yeah, that's just fucking stupid, man. 
a better option just don't smoke cigarettes dun, dun, dun. don't be ridiculous <laughs> <laughs> it'll cost me more for a lawyer to get off murder than it would for me to be smoking how does that work how much do you mean the lawyer? opposite like, well you look for murder you're looking at like a thousand bucks an hour <laughs> What, for like Lloyd Rainey or something, maybe? Yeah, but you no, won't get be off. Cheap. Yeah, true, you won't Lloyd Rainey, like. <laughs> Not if you get a oh, group yeah, what the fuck? Why him? He murdered his wife. Because <laughs> he got completely off it. So well, looking back into it, had now, anything, like, Yeah, but there's no proof. They're not suing back. the state government for like... Slander. Like, yeah, yeah, for something like $37 billion or something. I was like, where are we getting the fucking money from? It's like, you earn enough, mate? Fucking right. We'll stick to one thing with his story. It's either he did it or he paid someone to do it. Yeah, he paid someone. Of course he paid someone. Fuck, man. How he got off that, man. It's like the OJ Simpson case. That's being opened again. Why? Because OJ Simpson did not kill anyone. Man. <laughs> no, what happened to his wife? He pretty much got kicked out, my friend. Didn't he kill him. his wife? No. He wasn't even in the same state, bro, when it happened. He was in a different state. There's flights and everything. Hotel bookings, the whole lot, man. Camera footage of him being in a different state. But, like, nah, because he was black, it had to be a black man. And because his wife was right, cheating, bro. they put it like, yeah, well, your wife was cheating, you're black, like you did. Like, oh, it's America for you. Land of the free. His lawyer was Kim Kardashian, his old man. Bruce Jenner? Original old man. Uh, man, we just need we to burn like that family to a the ground. Old. I never want to hear those dumb fucking names again. Fucking, someone tried, man. <laughs> wow, really? Yeah, she was robbed in Paris, bro. Oh, but I said burn to the ground. Wasn't that an insurance thing? No, yeah, I've written. There's no proof of it, though. No, well, no. Kanye West is like, what, $30 million in debt? Not anymore. He's got assets. Nah, even with assets, he was still $30 million in debt. Because he makes nothing of his music. Because he does concerts and he stops halfway through and just talks shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hold on, hold on. Oh, I've seen some of the videos of that. I watched a video last night, man, on YouTube of Kanye West did this fucking thing for local rappers. Fucking. Like, introduced them and shit. And he had this. They hired a comedian to come and do, like, like mood show. Oh, yeah. And it was in Ohio, man, and fucking, the comedian was fucking sitting there starting to tell his jokes, man, Kanye was just standing there just talking shit. And this, this comedian's like, get him off stage, man. Get him off fucking stage. Just get him off, man. Just fuck him off. Yeah. Ends up punching him, bro. Really? Ends up fucking kicking him, punching him, just fucking laying into Kanye, bro. And I was just like, yes, someone did it. But then, you can imagine what happened. All these other fucking, all these other minions were like, Ksh! Trying to bash this comedian. I was like, fuck off, man. Have you seen that video of him running around punching people on the street? Yeah. He's a fucking idiot. <laughs> what? Yeah, bro. Yeah. Kanye's a fucking dick. If he hears this, he's probably going to see your ass. Well, yeah. fucking bring it, mate. Motherfucking I bet you win. I bet you all would win. He likes <laughs> dick sticks anyway, so what are you worried about? Like, fish sticks. Yeah, you mean fish, fish sticks. Fish, fish sticks. sticks. Yeah, fish motherfucking sticks. gay fish. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking rude. No, didn't he come to realise and accept that he, he didn't like, in fact, like fish sticks? Oh, that yeah. Train yeah. Did I watch it? I deleted it. Did I watched about five minutes of it and I was like, no, this is too shit. Yeah, you gotta I wait. thought it was really good, uh, good quality. It started off decent and then the audio was just. Oh. <laughs> nah, I was gonna see it. Is it still in the movie? No, it is. Is it done? Uh, turn in sets and all sorts of things. Do you check probably for oh, Belmont. Like Belmont yeah. will probably have Go it. Go down to Prime That's always theater. 10 bucks. It'll play there within a month. 15 bucks on the big IMAX. Man, I think mean, fuck it. I'll just wait till it comes out on DVD. <laughs> pirate! Arrgh. Good old pirate. Pirate light, by the way. Is that a rum? It's a computer. Oh, cool. fuck! I grabbed your USB and I went to put it in my bag. There's two things I fucking... Oh, you can't. Have you finished... No, I didn't, yeah. da- I didn't download it. Have you finished Vikings? Yeah. Oh my god, you haven't finished Have Vikings? Have you got it? Yeah, I got it. I'll fucking put it on in a second, man. Just remind me before we leave, right? It'll take two minutes. What episodes do you have? The first three, the season four. Oh, no worries. Yeah. 
Lana got pissed off at me because I didn't have it. So fuck off. I haven't been seen it. Just download it. So if you don't use I just get shit stuff, man. It's called Pirate Bay. Yeah, which one? The UK click one. UK click? Just try not to click on anything. <laughs> yeah, it fucking opens up pop ups, bro. Yeah, that's how they get you. Don't click on anything. Just use the tab and the arrow keys and then click enter. <laughs> right, boom, man. Yep, don't want my laptop turning into my old one. Oh, they don't do anything. Just don't click on any of them. Just close them. Man, fuck all those cunts that write all those that dumb, stupid JavaScript. Man. Dumb cunts. I think they do it just to fuck with the government so they can't do it. Man, they do it for money. <laughs> That's the only reason why people do it anything. Yeah, look, you click here, I make 50 bucks because an ad pops up. Oh, it's not that much, but. You get like a thousand visitors a day, you could probably make 50 bucks. A day. It's good money. Yeah, man. all it takes is a fucking. A thousand people just to click the wrong fucking thing. Yeah, but then it, get, it gets around, man. People share it. Be like, ah, oh, money rains from the yeah, sky. Yeah, fucking ah. Facebook, man. It's a game, nigga. Drive by Millennium Shootings. Da, da, da. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now, get two fucking executions. Free. You know, there's been no massacres in America since um, since Trump got elected. Bullshit. Nah, I call bullshit. Man. Yeah, there was one the other day, I'm pretty sure. In America? <laughs> yeah, there was a shooting in America. This was news to me. About a week ago, I lost it. But really, what defines a massacre? <laughs> Massacres in America since not been elected. Yeah, just but how same. many? Like a few? Probably about three. About three? Right. That's a massacre? <laughs> yeah. That's a pretty slack massacre. Have you ever heard of the Port Arthur mass- Massacre? Yeah. yeah. Tasmania? Yeah, and between the Bikies. Yeah. Oh, the... Port Arthur. Oh, yeah. Port Arthur. I don't think they do. There was like three or four thing. episodes of that on TV. Yeah, it was yeah. a good series, but... Oh, the Father's Day point? Massacre, right? No, 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 I have no idea. Was it the Father's Day? It was like some swami. It may have been on a Father's Day. That was yeah. uh, bo- um, Bikey Wars. That yeah. was uh, fucking Banditos versus fucking... Yeah, but it was fucking, yeah. Like caught after massacre. How many people died? What was your point? It was only like, yeah, it wasn't that many. It was a lot of people. Caught yeah. Was it? Yeah, I thought it was like a dozen people. Oh, like, yeah, there was like bystanders and shit too. Not only that, but they killed two people as they were driving away. Oh, yeah, that's the fucking that loopy cunt in Tasmania, bro. Yeah. Port Arthur, yeah, he fucking... But, but, the, but the thing that was fucked up was... He killed like, what, like nine people in that cafe? With headshots. All within like a... Are we talking about the same thing no. at all? No, I don't think That's Port so. Arthur, man. Yeah, I'm totally different. Thing. What are you talking about? So it was the same thing, but it's different. Yeah. Well, he's, he's talking about an individual it's... biker. We're talking about group. two bikey groups. Uh, yeah, yeah, this uh, I know which one you've got. Milpira Massacre. The which? Milpira. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that, uh, that was... Um, Dick T's going to be... Like 12 <laughs> people or something? Shit. Yeah, it was that much. My mum was around the corner when it happened. She knows the full story. What they showed on TV is bullshit, man. They they both rocked up with guns and shit. There was no bats or nothing. No, it's just straight up. Let's fucking do this, yeah. cunts. As soon as them bikes pulled up, man, they all pulled out their guns. And it was game on. Well, all the guns were out, and then they fucking they spoke for about two minutes. <laughs> so hey, how you doing? Good. Because I fully looked into that, man. I like the old bike yeah, stuff. Yeah. Like, I grew up fucking. Mum and dad being best friends with fucking coffee cheaters. So, I was watching my parents drink with them every fucking night. I would be yeah. friends with them, the enemies. Right, oh, here we go. There was six, seven dead. Four from Comancheros, two from Banditos, one bystander, and 28 were wounded. Yeah, so there's a lot of wounding, but deaths, there's only like six, seven. Still too many. Shouldn't have fucking happened. No. Not, not, not enough. Not, not, not in a public place, at least. Not in a fucking <clears throat> They should have just fucking put the gun. If it wasn't for fucking, what's his name? 
the dude, the head of the fucking Tom and Cherries, there wouldn't have been guns involved. <laughs> because fucking when they split and he, the other dude got in the banditos, all them blokes were all fucking fighters. Yeah. They, they'd fucking belt the fuck out of you at the pub. Yeah. I'm fun, more people. yeah. But they're too weak, they had to bring guns into it. Because someone pulled out a fucking shotgun that wasn't even loaded. Why well, pull it out? Exactly. Intimidation. That's what it was about back in the day. <laughs> You'd sit out the front of someone's house just revving your motorbike, man. You killed him. I wouldn't have killed him. I thought people were just scared of their lawns being was, torn up. If I was there, I would have been the guy trying to hunt out the person. I'd be sniffed on to I would have chased him with a shovel. The banditos weren't even that bad, man. What happened? They'd have noise complaints and shit, so they'd just go give their neighbours money. Be like, here you go. Well, sit out in the front revving your fucking motorbike. I'll come at you with a shovel. Move! Doing heroin on a Sunday afternoon. No, I'm going to throw axes straight in the back room. Hey? I'm going to throw an axe and throw it straight in the back room. An axe? Yeah. Why would I throw it in the room? Are we talking like straight at them? Like they'd be sitting this way, I'd throw straight at them. Like what are we at talking about? axes? At the rim or the back tyre. Like a knife? Like a nigga knife? Nigga knife. You could use a nigga knife. Nigga yeah, knife. but I want him to move on. Why? Do you know what niggas are removed from your life? Get a nigga knife. I chased him with a shovel. Stab, stab, stab. I was in a van with a guy who came That's who runs. with a nigga knife. He came from eh? South Africa. He runs. Wow. It's like a rich white South African. He got kidnapped at one point. I'm running out of the driveway, like, chasing him with a shovel. He realised. Like, Dude just pulls out a handgun, shoots you in the head, you fuck. No. Yeah. I got a shovel. It's bulletproof. Yeah. yeah. And then he got stabbed when he was like 14 in the leg. And plus, he came over here and he just covered his shirt and said, Slay our angel of death. And then he sewed a SWAT sticker on one side and the Nazi SS symbol on the other. And he carried a knife that he called the nigger knife. And he held it to America's throat at one point in the musical. Oh, hi. <laughs> one dead, 16 And then he got friendly a while I knew that. That was a lot recent. I mean, yeah. March 26. He was really friendly. Shit. Just fucking I mean, I'm in the fucking uh, gun violence like archive for America. A lot of people are. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait to go to Bali and see Midget Boxing. Paul went. Oh yeah. And yeah, he saw Midget Boxing, he said it was just awesome. Midget Boxing, that yeah. fucking sounds cool. Midget fucking boxing, eh? No, just boxing, no fucking. Midget fucking boxing. That's surprising for Bali, to be honest. That has midget boxing? The, 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 that they don't have midget fucking boxing. Oh, I bet they do. You just have to find that club. <laughs> so set one. I have a nude photo shoot with a midget. He's really hot on my computer. Yeah. She's really hot. I'll send you. I thought you were saying that you had a photo shoot with a hot midget. No, it's just a photo shoot with yeah. a hot midget who's nude. I was like, man. You sure it wasn't just like a regular chick photoshopped to look like a midget? No. I'll send you the pictures if you want. Photoshop's pretty good, bro. Post another group. Not that good. Just do it. They're high quality pictures. And there's heaps of them. Just do a couple. Pick a couple. Shape to the group. Yeah, midget boxing and drinking. Should be fun. Yeah, I'm thinking about gold. Yeah. When? Brooklyn birthdays for a few days. Yeah, fucking tough. Oh, it's Brad. The what? girl's not here that just walked away. Yeah, it was mid conversation and he bailed. He's not listening in on him. Oh, oh they nah, dude, they're on the ground, man. They're in the ground, man. Yeah, probably the last yeah, one to whisper yeah. about it. It'd be loud as fuck about it. About what? Allah Akaba. <laughs> Aloha snack bar? What? <laughs> Muhammad Jihad. Yeah, motherfuckers. Can I get an Aloha snack bar? Aloha snack bar. Aloha snack bar. Aloha snack bar. Fish bar.
Yeah, there's been a shit ton of fucking shootings in America. Yeah, look up Australia's. <laughs> yeah, zero. <laughs> oh, I'm talking just this year, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only up to January and it's the fourth page. <laughs> but is this all terrorist related or is it just domestic and everything like? Oh, dude. Police and. Some of them are like, there's a lot of black, 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 black. Oh. <laughs> African American, African American, African American. Yeah, so a lot of hoods. And, and they're usually shooting white people. I would too. White people are actually the fucking worst. Don't they? <coughs> nah, we built the first world. The first world? Literally why we are the worst. Man, God was black, he was Jewish, and he actually he was a woman. <laughs> yes, he <laughs> was. Fuck y'all. <laughs> Such large societies never lived in peace before that shit. Before, like, Rome... What what that stupid bitch that said that well, like everyone was in their own little world. Yeah, I'm not saying they were in the little they world, were but they much it would have happened either way. But what they sub like subjected like ninety percent of native populations to was it genuinely worth it? They all do it. And I mean, we don't have slaves anymore, but like India and China do. anymore. Um, <laughs> we don't have slaves. I'm not talking about work? right now. I'm talking about back no. then. Uh, when you work, you are a fucking slave. Right? No, you're no, a prostitute. We're a convict paid. country. They, they just get like made to work all day and beaten if they don't, and they just all get right, So the people that are way above us, man, getting paid a shit ton of you, they actually sit there and do fuck all, right? But we eat. We can have homes. Just? How are you Choose comparing your these two things? Of choice. Choice. It's easy. They have people in China, right? I no, I will actually they, take no, they banned North Korea, religion, for example, right? yeah. They essentially banned all religion. Well, they have religious people, but, like, they're not allowed to vote. They have to, like... No social media. Publicly shamed a whole bunch of these different religions at one point. And, um... Now there's, like, this one... There's one practice, like a meditative thing, called Falun Gong. And if they find out that you've... That you're a practitioner, like, you've got books or tapes or something in your home... Like, the military will just take you and you'll be put in, like, a place where you're just fucking beaten and tortured and treated like shit until your organ harvested. And this still happens. There's Chinese people that protest this shit here. Like, because they can't say much in China. Hmm. Government they're not speaking yeah. English. Are they the people that I just walk past and ignore? Yes. You get hey, shit you for talking about oh, politics and protesting and shit. Yeah, they don't. There's no such thing as protesting in China. Suppose we do so if we fix the problem, though, all the Chinese country. fuck off. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah you fix the problem. Like you know, they still have a revolution like less than every hundred world. years. Put all the people on the island. People overthrow the government like less than every hundred years. Last one was seventy years ago. It's just a matter of time before all crumbles. That's why Someone they don't have, to have time anymore. I can tell you that. Sorry. Someone needs to overthrow our government. Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll die eventually. The government would die. Well, that's yeah. the thing. No if we over- overthrow our parliament, it's because like people like us go to uni and become politicians. I met them at the uni. And they fucking, they have to know all the shit and they get right in and fucking start campaigning and then they get into government and then if they're good to everyone, they fucking stay there. Fucking... Yeah, but no one's been good in the past, like, ten years, bro. It's not, not about being good, it's how much dick you suck. They're the ones with the most promotions. Yeah, they're <laughs> the ones that literally suck and dick, like, just, they got to appease everybody, make everyone happy, not disagree, not argue, they just what got to agree and argue. What makes someone just fucking wake up one day and go, fuck it, I want to be a politician. They want to do some good. They grew a dick on their head. Yeah, but no, none of them have done good. No, and then they get manipulated. No, not always. There are some people out there that have Oh, I mean, Mark McGowan's done good. There's heaps of parties that are just single issue, like the hemp party. Work. You put a number in that and you voted for legal weed. Some that people... just means, like, there's a high chance of someone from their party being, like, having a seat. Yeah. yeah. You just get more and more from that party in the seats and eventually they become the strong ones. It's, it's, it's a gradual a process. Thing. Mark Latham used to be the Labour leader, and I'm, now I'm hell thinking he should try to like become the head of One Nation. And just Welcome to the head. political part of the podcast. <laughs> political, political. I really wish Colleen Hans has taken her shit way too far now. Yeah, that's why. She, she's done what she did back in the past. She makes a big deal of something and then fucks herself over. Yeah, she says there's some guy who she'll gladly step aside for and shit like that. 
I don't think step it's aside. Don't step think... aside. Just fucking go home. Pack your shit yeah, out of your yourself. office and go fucking home, man. You need just a couple more smart people to join that party and just change the kind of politics. And then that that one would like that Ronald McDonald looking motherfucker. Man. Who? Fucking Pauline Hanson. <laughs> 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 Yeah, someone used to just throw a pie in their face, man. A pie? A cow pie, bro. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Shit and die. Shit and fuck with. Racist cunt. But, like, she's the closest thing that we have at this point to, like, fitting in with all these other Western countries, like, leaving the European Union, becoming, like, independent nationalists, and still, like, making good agreements for economy shit. It's not like a little off its own. <laughs> no. You don't think so? There's a big hole in the world economy, and the countries aren't, like, assessing it. And just about the only one who says that we should are, like, China and Russia. Yeah, that's why we're selling everything to China. Yeah, well, China's doing it, like, they've just gone maximum efficiency, let's fucking do this shit. And they've got... Yeah, they're paving up, they're down their mountains. And and India's kind of doing that country, now, too. More. They're importing air. Yeah, they're importing well, clean they're air. Yeah. You know, India have a space program now. Yeah, they've had it for a while. What? I don't know about it, maybe. A couple months. Yeah, that's all we need. Indians in space. No. <laughs> the whole world would smell like fucking <laughs> no, whole universe is smell like Who do you like think is going to be the first space taxi? <laughs> huh? Indians. <laughs> space taxis. <laughs> No, they're going to make the world's first convenience store between the moon and Earth. Yeah, 9-11. <laughs> Not 7-11, bro, 9-11, because you've got a fucking year in between two places. It'll be like 0-G-11. <laughs> Hello, Akbar 11. Hello, Akbar 11. Oh. It was an inside job. Yeah, India's building a train line across the whole world. They've already started putting money in, like, a couple of other developing countries. India yeah, that's a rigid need to spot, feed man. their fucking It's because all that man. oil they have over there. Yeah, but they're doing it in South America and Af- Africa, specifically at the moment. So India's thought about it. They're just pulling up the... they got like, so much poverty, man. Like, like, we can make money off our oil. Yeah, we'll, we'll yeah. offer they it should buy some fucking sterilization pills. How's that? So they're just coming to come in the back. One dude with clippers. They're fucking smart. And just solve the, all the economy problems in India. This is where black bitches hair Oh, well, in India, India as well, there's slavery. People get paid, but there's still a lot of slavery. No, yeah, because there's that many people. It's, mm. You can't do anything else but be a slave. They've got about 14 million slaves. About, do they even have trains in India? Yeah. yeah. That, that country is built on trains, bro. You imagine those trains are going to fuck out a small, like, curry, man. <laughs> them trains would carry like 3,000 people back a day you, yeah. they just pile on them things. like everyone's everywhere yeah. and no one washes exactly even your war yeah. train water's is more important than fucking washing yeah yeah they do just piss and shit in the streets in a lot of places as well it's it's dandy, man. they've got a giant fucking blessed river that's sewage they're going through a drought right now like they worship rats I mean Come on, what the fuck's going on in that country? Do they worship rats? They worship rats. They worship a fucking cow. They worship cows as well. Yeah, but cows are kind of... They don't worship everything. But then, you know, they do have a huge beef trade. They do still sell shitloads of beef to, um, America. Because they're not all fucking Hindu or whatever. Whatever the religion is. Is he going to tag green curry? No. Is Thai cocoa? I think Islam is bigger in India than Hinduism. Pakistan, yeah. It's pretty big. Especially at the moment. And would you like it? I was also that. <laughs> Dolphin titties? That's why I just do it. Dolphins don't have titties, right? What do you know, bro? You're gonna feed their young son, huh? Cat falls in a pool, a rooster laughs. Moral of the story a wet pussy makes a cock feel good. <laughs> this video on Facebook with the power oh, rangers the thing man. and like all the western oh, leaders like you can have Trump big, and Putin big, and um Le Pen the French candidate who's probably going to get in and Nigel Farage you know the British guy who took them out of the European Union yeah and, 
There were all the Power Rangers like assembling and going through the theme song. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, Jesus. That was pretty good. <laughs> Oh, they're making a new Power Rangers movie. Isn't it already out? I don't think so. Dude, they changed the colours. I don't give a fuck anymore. They changed the colours. They changed the colours? They're probably all women, too. Yeah, bro. Pretty much. One of them's fucking gay. Literally, they've made him gay in the fucking show. I'm just like, fuck you, you're done. Whoa. You ruined my child. Thanks, cunts. Who? Well, One of the Power Rangers is gay, What bro. the fuck? Yeah, gay Power Ranger. No, they were all meant to be stupid, stereotypical American 80s teens. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I still got the black po- Power Ranger man. You click the button on his back and his fucking leg kicks. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see the Lego Batman movie. Yeah, bro. Same. Yeah. Why? Um, I love how they do it. Because it's not like the animated style. But stop motion shit. Right. That's it. What's that? Frame by frame? Frame by frame. It's moving every little uh, piece. Could you imagine that? Your hands would fucking hurt after that. After like doing one scene. It takes a while. But yeah. They would. And then because they got different faces, so you're gonna change their faces? Yeah. Or do they just animate their mounds? Fuck, how do you think they used to do South Park, bro? It was all just cut out and yeah, shit, but frame by frame. They draw it, then they can just layer it over and... Yeah. Frame by frame. Fuck that, man. Did you watch the fucking after the credits of... Yeah. It's pretty funny. <laughs> No, it was an awesome episode of Rick and Morty. Apparently you stopped halfway through the seasons. What? That season, yeah. Of season three, you stopped halfway through. Because that's season three, the new one, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, you stopped halfway through and you're not making the rest of it. But it kept saying season, nine seasons. There's nine seasons. Yeah, I know, but... There's nine seasons, Brad. Yeah, I know. There is nine. I know, I know. I've seen that, but apparently you stopped. Like a couple of months ago, it just stopped. Apparently. Yeah. So you, if it stops halfway call, through the I'd season, I'd be taking time you know off what? too with everyone harassing me constantly. Exactly, like, man. He's just like, you want to know what, cunts? Fuck you, so I'll make you wait longer. If we're going to do one a month or something, like. We'll just release half a season and then make you wait another six months for the other half. <laughs> I would. Make more money that way. They like they were cunts with Vikings, they fucking every end of every season was too fucking good, and then they're like, bam, you can wait a year, cunts. Why? Why make this wait a fucking year? Why can't you just release the season straight up? It takes a lot of work. Yeah, and it did come out. Well, do it two seasons ago. at a time, man. Still yeah. takes a lot of work. And a lot yeah, of they money. fucked up in the sense that they did mid mid season breaks and everything. They kind of ruined the the flow of the show, man. So, oh yeah, we'll come back in six months. I'm like, I ain't gonna remember what the fuck happened. Yeah, so you gotta go back and watch the fucking other two seasons. Just give me the whole fucking season now, man. <laughs> and then give me the cliffhanger. I'll fucking wait, I don't care. Just give me this shit now. See, now I'm gonna have to sit there and watch all the Vikings again. <laughs> fuck yeah, ain't too bad. Do it, man. <laughs> go, 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 fucking you. Ooh. Good story would be for um, some Viking gods to come back each April Fool's Day and just make sure that the. The spirit of April Fool's Day stays alive. Yes, Loki. <laughs> so that's what came up? Uh, no, it was a longer message than that, but I think that one was there as well. Pornhub wins the award for scariest April Fool's prank of all time. <laughs> awesome. Well, fuck it. Who awarded them that? Or was it just the quote? It's a quote. Oh. Man, let like people jack off in peace. <laughs> What happened to magazines, bro? They got yeah, sticky. Fuck magazines, yeah. yeah. They got the sticky, yeah. Who reads the fucking stories? Have you ever read a porn story? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, some yeah, some of them are really fucking hilarious. <laughs> no, he finished jacking off. He's still gonna poop. <laughs> yeah, fuck. Oh, I yeah, I'll just scoot through. <laughs> Alright, now I'll do the other one. <laughs> Oh, 
microphone thing, so like that. Alright. Uh, he goes he goes to a bar. He meets some girl. And then he goes back to his house. <coughs> back to our house. And well and then, you know, they have sex and then she and then he notices he's got he's got a wife. And I mean a husband. Um like the woman's got a husband. No, the guy sees a photo. Oh. Alright, anyway. Oh, <laughs> oh, girl, you can do it. Oh, man. We believe in you! Um, I'll nickname you Timmy. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> like Timmy! Timmy! <laughs> oh, Jimmy. No, it's Jimmy. Oh, 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 oh. No. <laughs> 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 Uh, it reminds me of a joke. Um, so these two college kids hook up, go back to the Great dude's night. dorm, <laughs> and um, they have sex. Dude turns to the chick as she gets out of the bed, she's pulling her pants on and whatnot. Says, that was fantastic for me. How was it for you? She looks at him dead in the face. I've changed my mind. It's rape. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one... <laughs> So he realizes she's married, and then, and she has two kids, and then, you know, he goes, oh, what the fuck? Check one thing for us, bro. Cheers. And then it's just like, be me. It's my wife. I'm in the picture. It's my kids. And that's just the end of it. No, I got nothing. It was a lot more drawn out and shit, and so it was just hilarious how anticlimactic the ending was. Can't. <laughs> no, I'm just fucking with you. Dude. You better get stabbed. Man. I would have fucking lit it and smoked it. <laughs> Not that much of a count. Nice tape, Peter. Uh, yeah, it's alright. Trying to get all my assignments done so I can do this right there. Yeah. Get that money. Yeah. Plus, it's only one semester. <coughs> I'll come back to the second semester. And this semester has been so fucking boring, man. I'm hoping the next semester is a little bit more intense. These assignments are all just like documentation work. It's just like, God fucking damn it, man. Bullshit, just I have, yeah, I have up. to write up like I understand like I have to write up how the program works, but like just stupid shit like that's like not even relevant to the program that I'm making. I'm like, why would I write that if I don't need it? But you need it for the rubric. Fuck the rubric. I just delete that part out. I'm done. <laughs> it doesn't exist anymore. You know, I've been reading stories about people who made awesome um game maker games and then just didn't have to work again. Like, so I'm fucking, I gotta do this shit. Programming is a good tool, but you just gotta learn how to use it and learn what you can do with it. It's just a starting point. One guy made a really successful game with Game Maker and now he works with Bungie. Yeah. Anyone can work with Bungie. Like, they're there far now. Some people just get lucky. They're pretty fucking, you know, renowned. Like, it must make it hard. It's hard to work at, like, Blizzard or Bethesda. Oh, Blizzard's oh, mother. Alright, call me tits. Shit. I didn't even penetrate you. What the fuck? Blizzard competes with like EA. Did you just smoke it? No, I had a VB and I shook it up. Yeah, because I gave him away Willy. Yeah. Well, I was trying to smoke it. A lot of people play WoW. It's like I penetrated it. It's not just WoW. You did. Oh, yeah, like half. Motherfucker. Diablo. This motherfucker just gave him away Willy. So he grabbed his beer and shook it. Motherfuck! You wanna fuck with him? There you go. You f- oh. That's how you fuck with Andrew, you shake up his beers. It's a good way to get stabbed too. You wanna know what you do? You, you wanna go with a one. whole block and sit there and <laughs> shake one before it. Shake every single, single one before you get to <coughs> No, you put poison in one and then open them all and just- What are you talking about? They are poison. That's why I like export. It's got arsenic in it, bro. <coughs> Best way. Oh, damn. That explains so advantage. much. Yeah, man. You can drink that off. Oh, eventually, I gotta yeah, fucking let it sit. Well, you know him. <laughs> this is my last beer. <laughs> 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 Stone. Damn, you 
he shook up his love too. Then get triggered. No, okay. He's pretty mad right now. He's just like, I just shouldn't. But I want just... oh, after the surgery, go get more beers. So what the hell do I care? Jab dildo. Want to see more Jab dildo. Jab dildo. Jab dildo. Ah, I gotta get up. Jab dildo. Sperm cannonballs. <laughs> cannonballs of sperm. <laughs> cannonballs of sperm. <laughs> Come in <your> face to <laughs> my face. Gonna come in a face to the face. We used to make all sorts of songs out of that. Gonna come in your mum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ninja Turtles. 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 I'm fucking sure. I'm packing the bomb. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Are you fucking sure? I'm, what am I doing? Yeah, what are you doing, bro? I'm What's fucking, up? I'm building your grave. That's what I'm doing. You're building my <laughs> grave. He's gonna bury you in the water. Yeah. Oh, no way, bro. I'm gonna bury you in the bathtub. In my water? No. That's why our very diarrhea underneath the bar. <laughs> yeah, it'd diarrhea. Be a good spot. It'll be one layer of bar on, and I just to get you in the bath. I'd be like, all right, I'm just set with this, and then I'd be like, hold on, wait a second, and I get the other bucket. It's filled with shit. <laughs> I just, I just Jewish shit. Yeah, Jewish shit. Blessed by a rabbi and everything. <laughs> you didn't murder the rabbi? No, I killed. I had him bless it, and then I murdered him. What'd you and do to the rabbi? Then I stuffed him in the shit. That's a lot of shit to pick up. Exactly. He you sure you should carry that thing? Shit and rabbi this happened means. a while ago, alright? It's been sitting outside, you've been sleeping right next to it, you don't even notice, right? What do you mean? <laughs> I haven't been here for the last week, bro. Yeah, you have. Hardly. What the fuck are you? Uh, you asked for a projected bro. slip deal. You slept there, but you actually did check the place up here. Pete, still, what are you trying to do, bro? You're struggling. I don't know. I was at a point somewhere, but just disappeared and went yonder, like they usually do. Yonder, yonder. Yeah, man. It's like all the weed I ever had, man. It's just disappeared. Moved in my law. Up in smoke. Say, I want a house, mate. Does that want a house, mate? Mm-hmm. There's no room. Yeah. That's the biggest drama. But if you want, we'll talk to him, no dramas. Yeah. I'm getting glass of water. Anyone else want a drink? No, I'm not sweet, bro. But he's in New Zealand at the moment. I know that. Oh, I'm not fucking in the house. I'm going to be mentioning it and I'll see him today. So I'll be in the house. In case you did actually mention something. Yeah. yeah. But there is so little room. I don't. Think you'd be able to move anything. Shit in there really. Yeah. So you would have to take care of it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And that was intermission for so checking on doing sweet fuck all. Awesome sauce. Do 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 You still here? Making butter. Oh man, I'm gonna have fucking edibles galore. Yes, son. Might even make some dabs to figure out how to do it. Just do it. Uh, guess you can press it. You need a vat chamber. Vat chamber, fucking heating element, variable temperature. Something to keep it at a really cold <coughs> temperature. You need fucking ventilator fluid, the best fluid, most purest. You gotta freeze that for like half an hour to an hour before you use it to get it at the right temperature that when you mix it all, fucking coffee filters. You know, made of that quite a few times, it's fucking come out pretty pure, but he's used a back chamber for like three to four days. I'm actually getting a machine for this. How do you get a machine? How much a machine? You can get those little glass tube things that are pretty basic. But I don't know if there's any machines specifically. Unless you custom make something mm. on an industrial scale. Oh, fuck off. Oh. Is you moving? I've seen this cunt move in the reflection of the fucking window. And I thought someone walked along there. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? And the weed kicked in. <laughs> Can I pitch your bro? Yeah, man. Is, how fucking good is the weather lately? Nice for us, man. I went down to the river yesterday. I found this awesome place that we're gonna go smoke gate. Yeah. So secluded. Why don't we go there today then? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Next podcast we're going to this lake, alright? It's down on the Swan River, bro. Fucking amazing. Yeah, we go for a Dude, I smoked a joint down in fuck the police compound. Catch some AIDS. Yeah. yeah fuck I was like, fuck these niggas. Yeah, get some AIDS. Everyone kept riding past me and I was just like, fuck, I can't just walk and smoke it. Fuck it. I just cut off into this dirt track. It was like right next to the police compound, man, where the horses Ooh. are. And here I am just puffing away <laughs> in a joint, bro. I was like, fuck these niggas. Yeah, GP. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Well, that car accident, fucking there was a cop chase and it ended in fucking Maylands, man. Like, the dude hit a tree down the road from me. Yeah, how long have we gone for? I think we've run out of shit to say, bro. We're too high. Ah, uh, six weeks. Nah, I'm a podcast, bro. Hour and a half. Yeah. Well, practically an hour. Yeah. For you. So what? Who gives a fuck? Does anyone actually listen to I've got to nothing to say. <laughs> you you have nothing to say? No, yeah, because you've got the last thing you were saying. He's still thinking about it. No, I told you the rest of it. We just he just realises that it's his wife. And his kids. What was the story? Again? After the whole. Oh, he cheated on wife. his own wife <laughs> with his wife. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he was so drunk. <laughs> oh, that's actually funny now. Like, oh. oh no, I'm breaking up this marriage, and she wake up in bed the next day. Oh wait, this is my marriage. Oh. <laughs> It's like that thing, oh, you know, what's um, Simon Pegg's friend? 
the, the chubby one. Yeah. He comes out, he like wakes up and his whole fat chin. He's like, oh. Gets up, gets his shoes, gets his fucking pants, <laughs> goes down and says, as quiet as steps on a toy, he's like, looks around and he keeps going. And then as he turns, he sees the wedding pictures of her and him. And he's like, oh. <laughs> Was that in a movie? Yeah. yeah. What movie was that? Yeah. I I've remember been... watching it. Oh. What movie? I don't know. I've seen just the short, short that, that one bit, man. It's just fucking hilarious. Damn. I just remember the expression on his face, just a disappointment that that's what he <laughs> married. <laughs> Crawls back to bed, takes his shoes off, rolls back in. Uh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> uh, fuck, what was that on? No, man, I have no fucking clue. They are doing another movie, I've heard. Him and Simon Pegg. Fuck, I don't remember his name. Jack Frost? Uh, Brad, you got it yet? Are you doing something completely different? Yeah. Cunt. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll put those Viking episodes in. You guys can say that. I, I don't want it. <laughs> Give it a cunt. Put it in the bin for you. Yeah. Fuck off. Uh, oh, Frost. yeah. Fizz it all up. <clears throat> Nick Frost. Yeah, 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 that's close. Fucking what? Fuck, what movie was that? The World's End? No. No, nah. because nah, he was sober at the start of that, you didn't see him with the family. <laughs> was it Sean or Dad? No, it wasn't Sean. Fuck that. I've seen that movie too many times to know he's not I was that. looking at it the other day I was like oh, Dude, I'm really going watch that. through the fucking all these movies and it's not here it's a TV show it wasn't Hot Fuzz no what are you looking for? we're just wasting time really his movie just we've search. just imagined it all in our head no. about it in the fucking yeah. Nick Frost walks downstairs regretting Marriage. Yeah, Nick Frost forgets marriage. In the Google on YouTube. Oh, fucking... I reckon walking downstairs is a key thing. Nah. Yeah. Regretting the marriage is the key thing. You gotta have the stairs in it, because he could just be talking about it in a joke. But what's, what's the difference between walking out of a hallway and walking down the stairs? You're not mentoring the hallway or the stairs. You're just saying it. It could just... But that's my point. It doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. Which Wait, point? I'm pretty sure it was a beer ad. Yeah, it sounds about right. Go on, find this ad. I found on the video. It's like, fucking all you gotta do is type in what you said and there's like a thousand videos <laughs> of the same shit. Alright, alright. Wanna give me 30 bucks? No. She does. Why? You get credit. No. I'm trying to save money for Bali. Yeah, no. When are you going? Uh, end of this month for like three days. Oh, just a weekend trip. I wish. But yeah, pretty much. Gonna get knocked out or what? No, I'll oh, fuck all money. I'll save like 50 bucks so far. That's it. Anyone want a tap? I've got a mate that's got a kit and he's... he's no shit, he's a really good drawer. But he wants to practice on skin, man. But no one wants to take it up. Watermelon. Free, and you get, you get free tat. Alright, uh, it could get something a little on my thigh. He tattooed these nuts on the side oh, of the fucking... Bend her face! But in zeros and ones. Right, I'll show you. That's pretty. Just like Fry had on his ass, mm. so they could time travel and shit. But I just want it done in like zero one detail. Um, so it's almost legible. I don't know. I don't know, she looked really cool. Yeah. It's not like I want something massive, like just small and just try and make it work somehow. I don't know. He's an artist. That's what artists do. Shit. You got no. the same title as you, Brian. Yeah. Check this shit out. That should be pretty easy. Just got a picture on it. Oh, cool. He's done like fucking. Into the whole wall. Dude, don't. 
Where does he live? Uh, like fucking south of the river. It's fucking dope, man. Alright, legit. If he can sketch up a small bend ahead with zeros and ones, I'll come down for it. Because that'd be so cool. It's not a fucking already made picture? Nope. <laughs> yeah, no, I hate it. Yeah, that's why I was just like, I'm thinking about it, just being like, yeah, fuck it, tattoo me, bro. Yeah. You're right, mate. Yeah. Check that out, bro. Yeah. Have your arm with him, Brad. Mm-hmm. Let me know. Look at that. Fuck yeah. I always want to get a Cthulhu tattoo. Hey, sunglasses. Sunny up high. Sorry, what? Someone's vacuuming on all. Well, when your boss is looking around, you got fuck all to do. No shit, I don't want to get beat with no stick. What's up? What's up? You gonna urinate on the ant hills as well? I usually do. Me too. <laughs> Bye, you two bastards. Face me and my urine. Next time, we might have to do it in the garage if it gets cold, though. Cold. We'll start setting up the garage, man. What's the hell? There's plenty of room. I don't know there's plenty of room. Talk to those room. Yeah, man, there's room. There's room. So much room for activities. Yeah, man. We gotta keep it closed. Mm. A session, man. Oh, yeah, the yeah, call it close. Yeah, Alright. Anyone got anything? Anyone? I'm just a homo. I'm really mate. Fish uh, fucking water. Fish fucking water? I like toast. Where else are they gonna fuck? <laughs> you drink water, don't you? Yeah, but think about it. So does everyone. Yeah, but fish fucking water. We are water. What are you talking about? And we well, we're ninety percent water, aren't water. we? Yeah, I'm water. Like Eighty. So fish fucking we're water. What the fish fuck fucking is it? you? Then. Yeah, the fish are I've fucking seen people the... fucking water. Wow. Yeah, well, people are fucking <laughs> in you then. Or did once. So fish fucking us. Game over. Yeah, GG. Close case. <laughs> People said, hey, what's the meaning of life? I'm like, God, Allah, oh, nah. Fish fucking you. Case closed. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, that's, 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 that's like a yeah, podcast. Man, man.